minutes. I was struggling then to think who I'd spoken about and who I hadn't. Um, I'm delighted to, to get two permanents in. It really does help. You know, we're full up on the loans, so it's important if the right players come up for a permanent that we um, that we snap them up. And everybody knows about Jordan because he's been here before, um, and he actually absolutely fits what we're looking for, short term and long term. So he's excellent signing. Um, you know, powerful, six foot plus, um, can score a goal. So yeah, we we're, we're hopeful that not only him but all the um, all the new players will hit the ground running and um, you know give us a boost that we need. So uh, yeah, uh, Lancet I've seen for a number of years did very well at Hereford. Always caused my team's problems, and I think it's already caused Cheltenham a few problems. So um, people will know of him. I think his career maybe has drifted a little bit since um, since his big move to Reading. And um, I'm hoping that he can come in and uh, resurrect his career with us. And if it goes well, you know, there's nothing to say that we wouldn't extend it. But at the moment, it's to the to the end of the season. And he's a big, powerful player. And it does give us uh, more options than what we had this time last week. Yeah, you've got all kinds of options now up front. How happy are you that basically you, know, you could play whatever way you wanted to, horses for courses, if you needed to? Yeah, I think I'm still... I'm still looking for some continuity in terms of a, getting a settled team. It's been difficult to get a settled side, um, but they're certainly going to give us a lot of options and variety and different ways of playing. So um, take a bit of pressure off the back four at times where we can maybe get the ball forward if we need to clear our lines. And um, certainly big, powerful players like Denny and, and Matthew uh, will help keeping the ball up top for us. But, you know, Elliot can play down the middle. He can play on the left. And uh, Wes can play right and down the middle. So I'm really pleased with, with the versatility of, of those players and also the power and the presence that hopefully Manset and uh, Denny will bring. It was hard work yesterday keeping up with it all. How hard a job was it getting all of these people in? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's what's, what I needed to do. It was, it was a long day. This has all been a pretty long day since I've come to the club. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a tough job. It's been a tough job. It's, it's been a heavy lift for all of us and this has now been the first opportunity that I've had to bring in players with league experience and players with pedigree, um, taking nothing away from the other loan signers because you know they're young, they've given everything and now this is a hopefully another step in the right direction where we can bring experienced players in who have scored goals and you know can, uh, can really add some value, much needed value to the squad. How crucial is this week's training ahead of Burton? Because these players have got to gel, haven't they? Mm. They have. Um, and we, we came in today for 12 o'clock to hopefully have the pitches playable. They're not still not playable, so we'll train on AstroTurf today. Um, and yeah, you're right. It, it's we've done we've done the, the the hard part, the first bit of the hard part, should I say, in terms of getting them here. Now the next bit is to get them all to know each other's play and style and the one thing I've been saying to the ones we've signed is look you must come in and not sort of tiptoe into it and think you know a few weeks to settle because you know the games are really important and we've we've got to now you know move forward step forward and, and, and cause teams problems and but ultimately you know the, the biggest thing for me with all of this is is knitting the players together and on a Saturday or a Tuesday stop shooting ourselves in the foot um, like we did again at a game at Dagenham and do you look at the players in your squad and think this is actually now your squad? Well, it's always been my squad. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say, oh, it's it's not my team, it's not my squad. I've, I've been proud of, of, of the players and what they've given. They've given everything. They gave everything again at the weekend, you know, and up to 75 minutes. Um, we won in the game and we were against Luton as well. So we've got to keep doing the good things that we've been doing. And this, this is the first opportunity I've had in terms of financially being able to add because we've managed to move players on. You know, and we've, we've moved players on that we think have come to the end of their time at Cheltenham. We've done it in the right way. And um, now we have got the boost of new players in and looking forward to working with the group again. Thank you. Cheers. How would you sort of rate your, your January in terms of recruitment and retention? Would you would you give yourself out of 10, uh, for instance? <laughs> I don't know. Let's wait and see the end of the season. I think I've done everything I can, James. I, I've, I've done everything humanly possible to improve it here mm. and um, like I say it's when the chairman said tough job yeah he's right it's a tough job because um, turning this around it's, it's taken time it's taken time to get players out it's taken time to get players in and 
you get an unsettled training ground when there's so much movement. You do. It's, it's inevitable. But it needed to happen. I needed to do this. Had to do it. Um, you know, been on free fall for too long, and I'm hoping now that we can, you know, turn majority of draws into wins. You have 23 professionals now. I think the average age is 22. Is is obviously the recruitment yesterday came down to quite a few younger players. Was there a was that so you can get legs in, get energy in? Or would you prefer a bit of experience if you're able to add it? I think it was what was available to us. Mm. It was what was available to us um, financially, and it was because obviously the players that moved on had that money to, to play with. Um, so it all had to fit. Had to fit in. I think that. that we, we have value for money, and I've done the very best with the money that, that, that we've got by bringing these players in. Because if you look at all the players, you know, Denny I've brought in because he's been, you know, he's got a great pedigree. He's you know, gone from Celtic to, uh, to Birmingham, been in Birmingham's first team, and then he's gone to Macclesfield, and he's been doing very well at Macclesfield, mm. okay, and we're up the top of the conference. So um, that's why I've taken him. Jordan Winter's been here before. Um, and proved that he can play at league league level. Uh, Elliot Richards scored scored lots of goals, you know, in his short career so far. So these are all of the players, and Mansets experienced. Um, they're all players that can come in, and and I believe, you know, were basically you know better than what we've let go in many ways. You know, in terms of those players, it's time for them to move on. These players now is a fresh start for them to come in, and um, you know, show us what they can do. Yeah, I think you used the term needed. The squad needed surgery, and do, do you think you've almost sort of completed it, sewn it up, and and you've got the the group now, that twenty three that that is is ready to take the the club forward to the end of the season. Yeah, I mean, the, the, every player has a responsibility to to do his job. There's no two ways about that. And and now we've got new faces in. Um, of course, they've got to come in and hit the ground running. But also the boys that are already here, the boys that are still here, you know, we've all got to do better. They've, you know, we've. The clean sheets thing, you know, we, we, we've got a goal out for the clean sheet. I know we've, we've added uh, a lot of firepower, but, you know, we've still got to be you know, more ruthless in both boxes. And we've also got to, you know, start concentrating for 90 minutes, you know, whichever team plays. We've, we've got to come together. Today's a, a, a big day in terms of, you know, we've, we've got some players out, got some players in, and we've all got to come together. The whole club's got to come right together now because it's a very, very important season for us. Is it almost saying you've got three three training sessions between now and the Burton game? Every shirt's up for grabs, no matter who you are, how long you've been here, what age you are. Yeah, go I mean, and go and put your hand up. I mean, if, you know, wins have been hard to come by for a long time now. So there's been things fundamentally wrong. Um, we've not kept a clean sheet since August, I think. So they're facts, and these are things we've got to change. We've all got to change them. Um, we've got to come together. We've got to be positive. It'll be positive now. The next three days of training. Um, but you know we are still playing against top of the league on on Saturday, so I think they'll have a, they'll have a say in it. We've got no God given right now to go and just win games. Um, we've just I just feel we've got more of a chance now with the players that we've brought in. Excellent. Cheers, Paul. Thanks.